I'm Jesse, she's Katie, and it's time for another screencast. Following from our last screencast, where we went over how to set up alternate app icons for runtime use in iOS 10.3, we're going to explore a potential application for those alternate icons. We'll also be demonstrating a way to deal with related errors. You've always been able to push out updates to your app in order to theme the home screen icon for different seasons, but it's never before been possible to allow the user to decide whether to use that theming. Due to the necessity of app review, it's also never been reliably practical to allow theming to occur for a single day. Now, we can do both of those things. We'll update the RayWinderluck.com classic Flappy Felipe to let players change the game's theme and icon, but only on Felipe's favorite holidays. Thanks very much to Tammy Koran, who last updated the course in which you can learn how to make this game. We'd also like to thank Mike Berg at WeHeartGames.com, who created all of the original artwork for the game. And of course, thanks to the real Felipe, Felipe Lasso Marcetti. I'll start by documenting more clearly what this alternate method is going to do. The alternation is between the primary app icon and today's holiday icon, if there is one. Then I'll use a nested computed property to encapsulate the logic for what today's holiday icon might be. I'll potentially need four date components to figure out the holiday. Thanksgiving in the US falls on the fourth Thursday in November. The only other holidays we've got icons for right now are Valentine's Day and Christmas. If it's not one of these three days in question, today's holiday icon is nil. If there's nothing to alternate to, let's throw an error. I'll define the error case as alternate error, no holiday today. Then I'll document that it's what alternate might throw, and throw it when the current app icon is the primary one and today is not a holiday. While I'm here, I'll also account for switching previous holiday icons to whatever the icon should be today. We also should be dealing with the asynchronous error that set alternate icon name might throw in its completion handler. Another piece of information that we need asynchronously to theme other parts of the app is what icon the app was switched to in the case where no error occurs when using set alternate icon name. Processing asynchronous errors in Swift, as you may be familiar with, isn't as straightforward as working synchronously. In this case, our method needs to process either an app icon or an error asynchronously. The way we think is simplest to handle that in Swift is to process a closure that either returns an app icon or throws an error. Let's see what that looks like. If we were able to guarantee that set alternate icon name would succeed, we could use a completion handler style closure whose argument is an app icon. And we could call that process icon as that's what it would do. Then we could call process icon in set alternate icon names completion handler. But that shouldn't be done when there's an error. That would work, but just returning there doesn't allow for the caller of the alternate function to have any idea that something went wrong. We can't directly propagate the error, but we could if we were to change alternate's argument a bit. Instead of processing an icon directly, we could process a closure that either returns one or throws an error. If get accessors could throw, this would be what their signatures would look like. So I'll rename the parameter to process get icon. Then it's easy enough to create a closure that returns icon by switching from parentheses to braces and using the same syntax, throwing set alternate icon names error when it exists and should be propagated. Now we're ready to alternate icons. Let's continue from last time, doing that by tapping on Felipe's hat. In hat.swift, I'll call app icon.alternate in touches began. It's fine to ignore the synchronous error where there's no holiday icon. The icon switching in this game is sort of a secret Easter egg for players in the know, and they'll expect it to only work on certain days. Again, I'll use the name get icon for the closures argument. Then in a do block, I'll see if I can in fact get the icon. If so, I'll change the hat's texture to match up with the app icon. Note that I've got to dispatch to the main queue because set alternate icon names completion handler is not guaranteed to run there. I need a reference to self for that, but there's no point in retaining it. If getting the icon fails, I'll just use fail error. I'll show you why shortly. I wrote the texture name extension property since the last screencast. It's a way to translate the CF bundle alternate icons keys into the names of sprite textures. I'll use it to make the scene launch with a hat that matches the current app icon. And now, let's see what we've cooked up for Thanksgiving! We set the date to Thanksgiving 2017 before starting the screencast. Pumpkin pie! Felipe's favorite! Now I'll set the date to Christmas. And it's Santa, Felipe! 
And with another tap, the app's back to normal. Now let's trigger my error fatally. Changing the name for the Christmas app icon will cause the alternate method to look up a key that is not in the alternate icon's property list dictionary. And that will trigger the propagated error in hats touches began method. There's no documentation for why set alternate icon name might throw an error, other than due to programmer error, so fatal error might actually be a reasonable option depending on the test coverage of your app. Coming up with a way to keep your info.plist and Swift code in sync, it's up to you. This is just one idea of how you might use alternate icons to add some fun engagement to your app. It's important to note that Apple's documentation states that app icons should only be changed at the user's request. This functionality is brand new, so we don't yet have a clear picture of what will pass app review. It's a great time to experiment. A use case that has already made it into the App Store is theme personalization. If you're a sports ball fan, there are some sports ball related apps available that let you change the icon to represent your favorite team. Personally, I prefer fancy hat Easter eggs. That's all we've got for this screencast. See ya.